super cool party people and welcome back to the vlog. Oh, I'm just remembering that I need to pack my battery chargers for my camera. Oh, I'm not doing, I'm not doing well. I mean, I'm not doing poorly, but if I, that would have been sad. I would have just had to go pro at the entire time. Anyway, it is 20 to 10. I'm sad I'm awake because I was trying to sleep until 10, but I woke up at like 9, maybe a little bit before. I didn't sleep the greatest still, I don't think. I just feel kind of like mm, dull is what I feel. And it's probably in large part because I have not really been drinking a lot of water because like that's what it feels like, but that's okay. I am currently uploading the vlog from the last two days. It should be up in a couple minutes here, which is exciting because it's so long. It's like 30 minutes. <laughs> that could be the longest vlog I've had. Wow. And then I'm gonna go make myself food, I think, and then start getting life in order. My one boss from Blind Channel emailed me and she's like, oh, I'm thinking about having you over for dinner tonight. This is what I'm making. Is that cool? What shouldn't I make? Because they know that I'm like a weird picky eater, <laughs> but it's like, it's mostly a texture thing and I hate it. I would love to eat things that don't freak me out. <laughs> so anyways, I was like, yeah, this is the, the yeah, here you go. <laughs> so that's really nice of her to think about me though. So I love that. And worst case scenario, if there's not a ton of food that I'm like, oh yeah, that's great. I can always, um, I have food that I'm bringing out, so that's fine. Uh, but yeah, it should be good. I'm thinking that's probably going to be like a business dinner. Like, yeah, they'll, they're like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> English. Yeah, they want to see me. Yeah, they want to talk to me, but I'm sure we'll be talking about store business stuff because I don't know if they've hired an extra storekeeper for the summer yet. So logistics, stuff I love. Anyways, I need to start getting myself in order. This battery's about to die, speaking of charging things. So I'm gonna go and um, feed myself and then like, I still have all this stuff to pack. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do invoicing, but we'll see. <laughs> I, it's like, it's basically 10, so 11, 12, one, three hours to save the world. <laughs> Alrighty, I still feel a little dusty and crusty, so I'm like a liter into my water and I just need to keep going. I smell like bacon, but it was a delicious breakfast. And my boss actually texted me, which means he is near self-service. <laughs> Likely. He texted me and he was like, uh, what time were you told to get on the boat? And I was like, oh, when? He's like, mm, it's not going to be before three. And I was like, all right. So I don't know if that means that he's texting me on his run in because it's like there's a pickup in town. And then there's a drop off in town later. I'm getting on the drop off in town because it's going back empty. And so I don't know if he's texting because he's on the water doing that, or he could be on the water doing a different run, or if he's just using Wi Fi calling and texting. I don't know. <laughs> so it might be him picking me up. Um, but who knows? Because there's no initial on the run. So I don't know. It could make sense that he has to run around town for a while. And that's why it could be him. Anyways, we are rambling for no reason. I'm gonna slowly start to get ready here. It is like 10 to 11, so I still got 12, one, two, three, I've got four hours left now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start to putter, maybe do a face mask because I feel crusty and dusty and my face feels crusty and dusty and see if that helps things and then like actually get ready for the day. So that's where we're at. I'm feeling a lot better today than I have over the last couple days. If you were wondering, it could be, maybe I got more sleep. I don't know. It could be because I'm going out to a place that I really love. It's a peaceful place for me. It's like, I tweeted about it, but I was like, there's places that feel like home and there's people that feel like home. And today I get to go to a convergence of the two for me. So yeah, so it should be good. Plus strudel, strudel. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to start continue puttering. Yeah, I think a face mask is a good idea. They're up in my closet. You can't see them because the door's closed. I don't know why I did that. Um, I think eventually I'm going to move all my face masks into my fridge because like it's better for your skincare, but I have so many. It's stupid because I had a subscription box for face masks for a while. It was great, but I get like seven to nine every month and that's just too much. Anyways, I'm rambling now. I'm going to go. I'm going to do that. Drink more water and then finish packing, make my bed, blah, 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 blah.
well. Alrighty, so it is 1.15. I just got in an hour worth of invoicing, which I didn't realize I was super stressed about, but I was super stressed about because I feel a lot better now that's done. It's also now starting to pick up again because typically when I first started, I was doing it twice a week just so that it wouldn't get out of hand. And then I had to cut down to like once every week slash week and a half because it was just pointless to go in for like five minutes. It didn't make sense. And then, or I'd be like 15, not quite five. And then now it's starting to get busier. And so on top of like all the like, bah, I've been feeling in my regular life, I've been stressed out about this because it's like something that I need to get a handle on and I need to bump it back up to two days a week. And I just hadn't yet. So anyways, I think we're good. There were some really weird runs in there and explanations for things. So as usual, I have some questions, but I'm just gonna bring it with me. <laughs> instead of emailing it. So that's exciting. I am face ready for the day. I'm not bringing any makeup out there because I'm like, whatever, it's the middle of nowhere, but I'm like, today I feel like looking good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna finish packing because like that notebook there should be in the backpack. Some of that stuff up there should be in the backpack, etc. So I'm going to finish packing. I'm going to get dressed. It's so hard because it is so sunny here right now. It is hot. I have my window open because it's like, almost stifling with the sun coming in the window but it's going to be raining in blind channel or that's what it's forecasting and potentially snowing so like it's really hard to wear the proper clothes but we'll see what happens i'm gonna get ready now and i will hopefully check with you one more time before i head down to get on the boat. i just filmed an entire clip and it was not a short clip without turning my transmitter on and i haven't pulled that ricky move for quite some time these uh, the buttons on these are sometimes are often really sticky and so sometimes I just can't get them to turn off Or sometimes I can't get them to turn on. I thought I turned it on but alas that was not the case Anyways, it is currently 10 to 2. My bag is mostly packed like I have to put the camera in it So that's gonna be some space finagling and like I still want to take these and these are giant So I need to figure that out uh I did go downstairs, however, and like get most of my food stuff ready to go. Now it's just stuff's in the fridge that just needs to go into my cooler. So that should be good. I'm gonna have way too much food though because my boss, I'm going over to their place for dinner tonight. So that's fun. But like, it's just, when it rains, it pours for contact from Blind Channel. <laughs> I always feel like this, but like today, like two of my bosses have texted me separately and then another one separately emailed me. And so it's like, wow, there's a, there's a lot going on. It did, however, get the phone number for the skipper who's picking me up it is it's not the family people it is um the guy with a great laugh so that should be fun um i texted him because i was told that he might be a little bit late i have an eta of three for him so i texted i was like hey this is the eta that i have for you i will be down at the docks at like three let me know if anything drastically changes so you like immediately text back like 3 30 winky face i'm like okay cool so that's that's good you know as much as I say, you know, he's not family, it still won't be nearly as awkward as my first ride out to Blind Channel. I was lucky and I got to go boat all the way because otherwise you gotta drive on like back roads and stuff. So I got to the dock, spot it, this guy that looked very suspicious and I'm like, mm, I bet you he's the uh, the cook that's going out with me because I knew there was a cook going on at the same time. And then spot it like the Blind Channel boat. And so we just kind of like brought our stuff down to the dock. And then it was like my one boss who I'd only met in Skype interviews and his two kids. And so like, it was a really awkward ride out there and it's like so loud so you can barely talk. The, the swim ladder kept falling off the boat and it was like a new boat and my boss is like I don't know how to hook it up it's different from the other ones so yeah it was just a really awkward weird situation so at least I know the skipper so it won't be so weird or anything like that it can't be it can't possibly be but anyways I am probably going to chill for the next little while part of me is like you've got this time use it be productive but I already spent an hour invoicing so that's super productive and also the last couple days I have been projecting being a mess as I have been a mess and so I know I need to tone it down. I mentioned this in the clip that <laughs> no audio but in June last year I had like I was working so much my grandpa was in the hospital I was doing so much I was stressed from other things like last year was just like a very stressful year for me and just like complete burnout and that was like mid to end of June. It's a different type of burnout right now that I'm feeling, but it's the same level and it's only February. 
well, it's almost March, but it's only February, so that is the problem. So I need to rectify this now. And like I mentioned yesterday, I think I'm going to take a week off vlogging, but I think it's going to be more than that. I think I'm going to take a week where I just try not to do anything on my computer. I'll do invoicing because I have to, and like I'll go to work because I have to. Um, but like just read, chill, watch movies, go outside, be social, like those kind of things, those important things. And hopefully they will nourish the soul and I will feel better. But right now, I'm going to probably do something unproductive, either watch Survivor, which I'm currently doing, or work on my Harry Potter fan fiction because that feeds the soul, or embroider or something. I'm going to do something that is not productive at all, even though in my brain I'm like, you have another hour that you could easily be productive, but I'm like, no, just don't. So we're not going to. And in the next little bit, I will finish packing up my bag and then get this show on the road, I suppose. So here's the funny thing. I literally just said that I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to relax. I'm going to slack. I'm going to maybe work on my Harry Potter fan fiction, which I did for a little bit. And then I was like, oh, I should um, edit this blog post. And then while I was waiting for it to render, I wrote a blog post. I have problems. I need to take a break. Somebody please help me is all I'm saying. Anyway. Update time again. It is currently just after three. Immediately almost immediately after I texted back, I said, okay, cool, like, sometime between 3.30 and 4 is good. I got a text saying, had to turn around, emergency evacuation. Um, so he had to run back to one of the sites he had already picked crew up from and then bring them down. I don't know if it's, like, a medical emergency or what's going on, but, yeah, so now it's looking like 5 o'clock. Uh, I texted him and I was like, do you need me to get you food or something? I mean, obviously he's probably not gonna be able to text me back like anytime soon with an emergency on board, but who knows? Anyway, looking like five o'clock now. And um, so what I think I'm gonna do huh, is I'm going to edit this vlog now and I'll schedule it to go up tomorrow and then I'll just start the vlog again and it'll just be like, well, it was supposed to be 43 hours in Blind Channel, now it's probably gonna be like, it's gonna be close to the 36 I was thinking. <laughs> so we'll just say, you know, whatever many hours in Blind Channel and I'll just do that all together. So with that, I will leave you here, still uncertain as to when I depart, but hopefully within the next two hours. And I will see you on that adventure where I do completely different things than what we've done today. <laughs> Goodbye.